What's up guys, it's me Jim and Music Man and I'm pretty sure by now you've heard the tragic news on the death of wrestling legend Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper and it's kind of sad that just a month ago I made a video talking about the death of another wrestling legend um, Dusty Rhodes and it's kind of shocking that you know I heard the news you know you know, just like when I heard the news with Dusty Rhodes dying, I was on my way to work and they announced it on the radio. And it was just, you know, shocking to hear, you know, all me and all my co-workers were just talking about, have you heard the news? And it's just unbelievable that, you know, another wrestling legend has, you know, passed on. And it just seems like in these past few years, a lot of the legends are, are leaving us like Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, American Dream. You know, and now the hot rod. But um, you know, I just wanted to take a few minutes and just say, share some of my my favorite memories on Rowdy Roddy Piper. You know, one of the biggest names in the '80s. You know, some of my favorite classic matches with Rowdy Roddy Piper is, you know, of course the first ever uh, dog collar match at Starcade with him and Greg the Hammer Valentine. And you know, um, I know Rowdy Roddy Piper and uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, they had some classic matches back in the 80s and the NWA. And then he would later go on to the WWF and, you know, had a classic feud that would make wrestling history with Hulk Hogan. Who could forget the first ever main event at WrestleMania? Hulk Hogan and Mr. T against Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff at Madison Square Garden. I mean, that's wrestling history right there. And, um, you know, another classic Piper match is him and Mr. T in a boxing match at WrestleMania 2. And um, another is, um, I want to say it was the strap match at WrestleMania 3 with him and uh, adorable Adrian Adonis, which was at that time his retirement match. And after he uh, won that match at WrestleMania 3, he would go on to make movies like he made, you know, a great 80s sci-fi classic, They Live. I mean, you know, a lot of people consider that, uh, you know, a sci-fi classic, probably uh, Piper's greatest uh, movie role he ever did, and some other um, Piper movies uh, I like was um, Body Slam and um, uh, Hell Comes to Frog Town. That was another uh, '80s classic with uh, Piper, and you know, you know, I remember back in the early '90s he came back and he was doing like announce. He was announcing on, um, you know. WWF shows back then and then he would um, capture the Intercontinental title and I remember him and Bret Hart's match at uh, WrestleMania 8 for the Intercontinental belt. You know, another classic. But, um, you know, I just want you guys to share your memories of what was uh, your favorite uh, Piper uh, match and what was your favorite uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Roddy Piper movie. But, um, you know, just another one of my favorite uh, Piper moments was back in the 90s when the NWO was running wild all over WCW and Piper came back and challenged Hogan and they had their feud for a while back in the late 90s and you know back in the late 90s when the WCW was taking on the NWO Piper was he was really like one of the only ones who never joined the NWO he was always WCW for life so you know but uh, I just want you guys to um, you know leave a comment and share your memory on uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper but uh, you know I just want to say you know my prayers go out to him and his family and I hope you guys be sure to uh, like this video and uh, just share your comments and uh, memories below but um, you know just want to uh, pay my respect to Piper and um, God bless my friend.